السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما وأرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه وأحشرنا في الزمرة عبادك الصالحين أمين يا رب العالمين We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings that he bestowed on us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he accept our uh, siyam, our uh, qiyam, our Qur'an reading, and all the good deeds, insha'Allah. Uh, tonight is going to be, uh, it's day 21 from Ramadan 2020. So today we'll be discussing uh, one ayah from one juz and discuss some of the wisdom from the ayah. As always, I will start with the surah first, talk about the surah, a little bit introduction to the surah, the theme of the surah, and then we'll talk about the ayah and its connection to the theme of the surah. And then after that, we'll, ex we'll share the, the wisdom or lessons we can take uh, away from from the ayah. So as I said, tonight is 21st. Uh, so it's, we're going to discuss Juz 21st. Juz 21st, and the surah that I've chosen is Surah Ar-Rum. Surah Ar-Rum, and the ayah is going to be ayah 22nd, 22. So the Surah Ar-Rum is Surah Mekki. So, uh, as I explained, I might be overstating and talking about Mecca Medani every day, so I apologize for that. But for those who have not uh, watched my videos before that, I'm just going to explain the Mecca again. Uh, so, Mecca means uh, was revealed prior migration of the Prophet to Medina, and it has uh, contents and discussion on Aqeedah, Tawheed, Monotheism. Uh, you might have discussion about resurrection, uh, means Yom al Ba'ath, Yom al Qiyamah, the hereafter. And in this case, Surah Nur has all that. In addition to that, it has also discussion about Quran as a, as a message. So, the beginning of Surah Ar Rum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about something. He never done any surah, which he discussed something is going to happen and specific events. Um, and uh, and that was only in, in the surah. And you don't see that in many surahs like that. So the background that is when the Persians, uh, he used, they used to worship the fire uh, when the battle against a Roman. A Roman, we know they, they used to be uh, people of the book, so they were Christians. So when uh, Persians won the battle against um, the uh, Roman, they saw their home and uh, people, the news came to Mecca. So people of Mecca uh, back then, uh, the disbeliever and, and the mushrikeen, they started making fun of the, of the Muslimin, of the uh, Muslims people in Mecca, and they start intimidating them and telling them, look, Look what happened, you know. Uh, these people of uh, of the book, they they won, they, they lost badly against these guys who worship fire. So you guys also have a book, and you, it's going to happen to you too. So they were making fun of pretty much people of book, uh, whether Christian or uh, or Muslim, because we we are, we have our own book, which is Quran. So. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this surah, tell them, yeah, the, you know, uh, Persian, you know, won. But guess what? In a few years, the Roman will, will win, will win against uh, Persian. And that was a prediction, and it did happen. So, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after that, after the ayah, he said, uh, al -amru min qablu wa min ba'd. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the matter is up to Allah in the past and in the future. So, so this is not the theme of the surah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commandment of everything in the universe and all the rules in this universe under his commandments, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's another, that's one of the, the messages that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling uh, 
uh, Quraysh and telling all of us. So another point about the surah, another second theme, if you will, is uh, it praise Islam as religion of Tawheed. It praise uh, religion, Islam as religion of monotheism. And also it's telling us that use your mind because back then there were the people used to deny Yom al bath they, 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 they deny the resurrection. How could a person come back from death to life? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah is telling you, use your mind, use your logic. It's not difficult. How I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he can create someone from star, he could he could revive that person back to life. And that's, that was one of the messages from, from this surah. Um, the other message, the third theme of the surah, is when you read the surah, it actually it has a lot of beauty when it comes to, uh, it's telling us to, uh, it's urging us to ponder on, on Quran, like ponder on his ayat. In other words, he's saying is, Quran is a spoken word about the miracle sign ayat. But then there is also the uh, miracle sign or ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in action. Uh, those are in on the on earth, in the sky, and, and his creations. So as Muslim, there are two. There's Quran, the spoken ayat, spoken miracle sign. Then there is the 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 miracle sign in action, and we're supposed to ponder on that. It's supposed to remind us of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So our ayat tonight is ayat 22 from Surah al rum where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Bad Adab Al Mustan Al Jin." ومن آياته خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف ألسنتكم وألوانكم إن في ذلك لآيات للعالمين. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "And of His miracle signs is the creation of the heaven and the earth and the diversity of your languages and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs of those of of, of knowledge." So you can see, I was just talking about the, the medical science, and this ayah is talking about medical science. Some of the medical science that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about here is creation of the earth and heaven, but more specifically, he's talking about something different here, which is diversity of, of language and color. So, so you can see the connection between, of course, the ayah and the main theme of the surah, which is reflecting on the ayahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a very important, dear to my heart, this topic of the uh, equality and, and the issue of racism among uh, humanity in, in, in general. Um, and and, and it's, it's an issue in our Muslim world as well. We do have issues with racism uh, across all countries. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah is telling us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates skies, heaven, diversity of language and the color as a miracle sign. So what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to respect those miracle signs. So if we violate, if we violate the miracle signs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, i.e. diversity of language and color, we are actually disrespecting his sign and disrespecting him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is, according to many scholars, that's a crime, that's jarima we're, we're committing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling Another sword, another ayah. يا أيها الناس تقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها. You guys hear this ayah in every Jumu'ah khutbah. O people, fear your Lord who creates you from a single soul and creates from it its mate. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us we all came from one individual, Adam alayhi salam. Our languages all came from his language alayhi salam. So why do we have to do? Why do we have to discriminate against each other? Whether it's we have because we have different color, different language, and so forth. And and uh, Subhanahu wa Taala, يعني, it is pretty sad, especially in especially in our Muslim world. There's hadith I want to share with you, uh, narrated in Ahmed, uh, uh, Sunan Ahmed, where uh, where uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Ya ayyuhan nasu." ألا إن ربكم واحد وإن أباكم واحد ألا لا فضل لعربي على أعجمي ولا لعجمي على عربي ولا لأحمر على أسود 
ولا أسود على أحمر إلا بالتقوى أبلغت قالوا بلغ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أن هذا حديث صحيح الألباني so it's a hadith 22978 where Rasulullah Rasul says O people your Lord is one and your father Adam is one there is no favor or preference of an Arab over non-Arab or non-Arab over an or, or non-Arab over an Arab and neither white skin over black skin that means person who's different color there is no preference between that or black skin over white skin except the taqwa righteousness have i not delivered the message rasulullah is asking this said the messenger of allah وسلم, has delivered the message and this is in uh, muslim ahmed 22978 so the lesson from what I just shared with you between the ayah and, and from tonight and ayah from Surah Nisa and hadith that I just shared with you is one key message, okay? We, there is no room for discrimination. And this hadith, you all know, Rasulullah says, there's no one will enter Jannah with an atom of, of Kibriya. Al Kibriya, that means you look at, you think you're better than others. That's what Kibriya. There's nothing wrong with, with wearing nice, dressing up nice, driving a nice car, but kibriya is when you start looking down on others. Rasulullah said that no one will enter Jannah with even Adam of, of kibriya. So, and this is very, very, very important that we teach our kids that. We teach our kids this, don't, don't discriminate whether against other Muslim or different color, different language, and even the non-Muslim. You should not be, uh, you, our kids should not do that. They should, you know, uh, have the the sense of equality in their in their behavior. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that He protects us and He cleans our heart from superiority and ego, and give us the ability to appreciate and reflect and respect His medical sign as they deserve. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ask I ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to accept uh, from us that He give us the ability to understand Quran as it deserves. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he give us the, the ability to, to fast the rest of the Ramadan and then he save us from, hell, from hellfire. And finally, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he restore our life and protect us from this calamity. Ameen, 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 ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanak Allah wa bihamdik. Ashadu anna la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu alaik. Zakum la khair. Assalamu alaikum.